Here's how you know a relationship is a good relationship for you. It makes you feel better about yourself, not worse. It makes you feel more loved. So if you are not getting those things, it's a relationship you can't be in. Here is today's case. I'm unsure if I want to be with Jonathan anymore because I just don't trust him. There was never no trust in our relationship from the very beginning. I think Jonathan is cheating on me because I found dirty messages from other women. I never cheated on Tamari. We broke up, so technically we were on a break. If Jonathan doesn't get his ass together, I'm leaving him. I'm gone. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, as you know, for the first time on Divorce Court, we have a virtual audience and it's filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Letitia from Trinidad. Letitia, welcome to Divorce Court. We're so happy to have you with us. Your Honor, today's case is Mitchell versus McIntosh. Thank you, Juan. Shamari Mitchell. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought your boyfriend, Jonathan McIntosh. Yes, Your Honor. To divorce court today. The two of you have been together for two years, but now you're having a number of problems you want to talk about in divorce court. Yes, I brought him on the show today because I feel as if he's not comfortable being seen with me in public, and I have proof that he's cheated on me. Okay, so you just got right to the point today, Ms. Mitchell. I appreciate it. What do you have to say about that, sir? Your Honor, I'm here because she think I'm cheating still. In reality, I'm not. If I did not want to be with this girl, I wouldn't be here. I love this girl to death, so I'm willing to stick here through the end. So when you say cheating still, mm -hmm. you, what you say, the cheating happened, but it stopped at some point? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. Well, you don't sound very... He was a little <laughs> iffy on that answer. <laughs> it's not about what I say. It's about uh -huh. what you say. What do you say? Well, I say I wasn't cheating, but we'll just leave it at that. I have a feeling we're going to get in, into more details <laughs> about this momentarily. We will. Ms. Ms. Mitchell, tell me what's going on. How did the two of you meet? Okay, so we met at a restaurant. He was actually the kitchen manager where I was a cook at. And he didn't want to pursue it because he was a manager and we could both could get fired, but I was so persistent because I, yeah. once I see something I like, I'm going to go for it, of course. Why were you so persistent? He was just so good had looking. It. He had, had the charm. He worked the charm on me. So. Factor, you know? And how did it work out for you? Um, it actually worked out very good. Um, months after us dating, we actually started a business. Okay. So we're still trying to get that up off the ground, but... We just bought a, a house a couple months ago, so we... You still... bought a house together? Yes. Yep. Wow, big commitment. Yes. Where do two of you live? We're from Cincinnati, Ohio. So you're in Cincinnati, you bought a house together, but you say things have been going downhill. <laughs> I say it started off, but I feel like it's picking up. You think things are picking back y up again? Yes, ma'am. In I... a positive way? Yes, ma'am. Why do you say the two of you have so many trust issues? Because he's the type of person that will, like, still look you in your face and lie, even though you got facts to back, to back everything up. So, he, you could tell him, like, the sky is blue. He'd be like, no, it's not. It's purple. You go outside and look at the sky. It's still blue. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. When is the first time you said there was a trust issue in the relationship? Okay, so, so when we first got together and we were still, like, he was spending the night and weeks at a time or whatever. I went through his phone and it's like, how do you, you don't want me talking to nobody else or doing whatever, but you're still talking to females, texting them, you're still reaching out to exes and doing all this one stuff, but the moment I do it, it's a problem. And he would just like still lie to me about it or even though if, if it's screenshots behind it, he would still lie to me about it. And this was at the beginning of the relationship? Yes. It's so like, you knew this it at carries the on through the relationship. So it's, it's, it's been throughout the entire relationship? Mm-hmm. And you bought a house together two months ago, though. Mm -hmm. Based on what? You're hoping that things will change in the future? He's, like, actually my best friend, and that's not somebody I want to lose. And they always say if uh, he wants to be with you, he, he, he will be willing to change and change... Well, who is they? Who said that? One Just... and I would like to know who old they folks, is. The old folks, the old know, folks. Older folks. When we sit and have conversations with our aunts and uncles, people that's older than us, they give us words and wisdom. Let me tell you something. The reality of the situation, what we see in divorce court every day, People may get better at disguising their ways, but no one changes for you. Mm -hmm. They change for themselves. You, you know what you're gonna be doing? If you waiting for somebody to change for you, you know what you're gonna be doing? What's she gonna be doing, Juan? She's gonna be waiting. You're gonna be waiting. Forever. And I don't know how much time you have, but we don't have that much time, so we gonna get to the crux of the issues today. Mm -hmm. So from the very beginning, mm -hmm. You, you were talking to other women. Yes. Why, why, why get in a committed relationship, Mr. McIntosh? See, McIntyre? at that moment, we weren't in a very committed relationship. You weren't in a very committed yes, relationship. I didn't you were know... slightly committed. Yes, I, I liked How her. How do you be slightly committed in a Ma relationship? Ma'am? Well, I liked her. 
But like you said, I, I, I was pushing her away. I was in a relationship, honestly. Oh. Yes, but it was coming to an end. We decided to part ways. It was not working out. But I got sick, and she brought me a whole gift basket with a whole bunch of stuff in it. She didn't even have a car at the time. She found a way to me after I told her no. That's somebody you just don't push away because that's genuine care. But so she like, brought you a gift basket. What mm -hmm. was in the gift basket? It was just like a bunch of remedies, like from teas, gift cards. Mm. I was literally off of work for like a month or two, like wow. sick. So wow. it was, it was kind of terrible, but she was there. And, and she was there. We barely knew each other. But at this time, I didn't really want to jump into another relationship. But you are cool. I don't want to just not see what you're about. So, right. Because she brought you that hot tea and that Yeah, vaporware. people just don't do genuine. But at uh, some point, you do decide to commit, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, I did, yes. Well, you made the promise of commitment. Yes. Were, were you actually prepared to commit? No, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. But I don't think nobody's actually prepared to commit. Ms. Mitchell, you got a lot to learn. And I'm gonna try to school you on a couple of things before you leave court today. Mm -hmm. But that's the second thing you said in court where I really have to question some of your philosophies. <laughs> We're gonna get back to that in a minute. Mr. Bakatosh, go ahead. We started talking. She went through my phone at that time after a week of me like staying the night, saw that I was texting other girls. I don't even think I lied. I just looked at her like, I'm sorry, like. You weren't really you prepared. Did lie. Good. Did you did let me ask you something? Did you communicate this to her? That you really weren't ready to be in a relationship? No, honestly, I did not. So okay. that's that's on that's that's on me. That is on you. But at the time, like I said, you just don't give somebody up like that. That's something you just don't pass on. Well, you do pass on it if you decide to cheat, because a lot of people... <laughs> you could have just told me from Ms. jump Mitchell he wasn't ready yet. Mitchell may be the exception. I could have, you're right, but... Uh, you sh he could have told you what? From jump he wasn't ready yet. Okay, so he didn't tell you, but what have his actions told you? That he likes his cake and wanted to eat it too. A couple months ago, it was my birthday. He had got us matching Apple watches for my birthday, but his is sitting on the counter and all you hear is messages coming in and he's in the bathroom actually texting the person. So I'm sitting there reading the message just to find out that you had sex with your ex and she's texting you telling her that she's pregnant. He likes his cake. And he's eating it too. Let's talk about some of the meals that he has. You say he's had. Mm. Tell me about them. Back to a couple months ago, it was my birthday. We um, he ended up getting a room for my birthday, decorating the hotel room. My birthday was good. It was great. It was the best birthday I, I ever it. had. I did it. I did it. Good. But so hotel. the couple days later, we end up moving into our house. We pack in or whatever, and um, he had got us Apple watches, matching Apple watches for my birthday. But his is sitting on the counter, and all you hear is doop, doop, doop. Like, you hear the messages and coming she picks in. It up and go or whatever. And he's in the bathroom actually texting the person. So I'm, I'm sitting there reading the message. I'm like, are you serious? Like, my little sisters was there, so they was like, what's going on? What's wrong? What's wrong? Like, See? I started crying immediately because I'm like, are you, you sitting here telling me, like, you love me, you doing all this stuff for me? Like, you just went out all out for my birthday just to find out that you she, had she sex wanted with to your find ex. Something bad, though, I and felt like. she's texting the whole you time. telling her talk that she's pregnant. <laughs> Like, I really? found this out a couple days after my birthday. And then the day we move into our new house. Like, well, who was we... she pregnant by? I feel I was extorted. I don't think the girl is pregnant at all. But, hold on, hold on. That's the side of the point. So, so you, so according to the messages you saw, you saw that a woman who claims to be one of his exes mm -hmm. may be pregnant. Mm -hmm. And you're saying right now, you don't know if this is true. I was being extorted. You're being extorted. Yes. That's wrong. That's, I mean, well, maybe Mr. so, so but... Mr. Mr. McIntosh, but, but it could possibly... Are you, you were sleeping with your ex? Yes. Or one of your exes? I did. We broke up. I went... The two of you broke up? Yes. We had broke up. Okay, I had so... left. I had left. And me, the younger me, when I get angry, I do, I do dumb and crazy stuff. Have so... the two of you been broken up? During this time period? We was only broken up for like a day. It was a few days. We, 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 day we, we, we told three days. We, so we, we sell t-shirts and stuff and I was actually messaging this girl back and forth. She was, get, she was buying shirts and stuff from me. She kept saying, I'm gonna tell her, I'm gonna tell her. He was like, no, 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 I'm gonna tell her. That's what the messages say. So I'm like... Tell you what? That, that I slept uh, with another woman. And got her pregnant. You say he cheated. He said he didn't. But nevertheless, the two of you decide to reconcile, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because she loved me. She you, can't get rid of me. I can't get rid of her. I well, love her. Well, you're in divorce court. I'm not so sure about that. Don't tell me a month later, Mr. McIntosh, something else happened. Yes, it did, but it's what she wanted, honestly. I just handled it the wrong way. Wrong false. Okay. What, what, she, what do you mean? So she, we... I didn't ask for the, a threesome, right? She was like... She, she hints at it a lot, like, you know what, let's, let's have a threesome. Let's, I'm like, all right. She's like, you get it together. I'm like, okay. I've never done this before. 
I've never texted a girl like, hey, me and my girl want to sleep with you. What's up? So I'm just messaging her, filling her out, seeing as like she she would be good with us, won't be awkward or nothing when it finally do come about. But it turned into me like saying like, hey, let me bend you over when we when I'm gonna bend you over. And instead of it turning, instead of it being about me and her messing with her, it kind of turned it into me. Although I never slept with this girl. So the text messages you're showing me now are between him and another woman. That's actually the, the screenshot of the girl sending me the messages. He telling her, you should let me bend you over again. Had you been bending this woman over mm -hmm. in the past? About seven years ago. I was a night auditor manager for a hotel and she was my security guard. And you're saying to me, all of this was just to get this person to participate in a threesome with yes, the two Yes, but I went about it the wrong way. But it was not a group text. No, it was no group text. So we had a situation a couple months ago where he found out I was actually chilling with another guy. You, Ms. Mitchell? Uh-huh. Yeah. So let me hear your witness statement. My name's Natara, Shamari's older sister, and I just wanted to tell my part on what happened that day. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. All this is happening. This is recent history, Juan. We're not talking about ancient history between the two of you. We're talking about recent history. And then on top of that, you say... He's ashamed to be with you in public. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Because when we're out in the public, we could be out going to the grocery store, or we could be out just doing shopping. He, he's known in the city, so he knows a lot of people. Known for what? I do a lot. His mouth? I went, to, I went to do different high schools. I was in drama club. I was in ballroom dance. I did track and field. I did football. So you're 28 years government. old. That was 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But I've made a lot of relationships with people. I'm also in the studio. I do stage and audio, brand ambassador, and marketing work. I'm also a chef. So I do it all. I know a lot of people. I know a lot of owners. So you're Mr. Popular in you can Cincinnati. Say that. You can say that. Are you worried about your reputation because you have a girlfriend? Not at all. We get along so well. So when we're talking to my family or a friend or somebody, I forget that she don't know them yet. I have to introduce her. So you forget to but make the introduction. She's comfortable forget from the beginning, like me, when we're talking to people. She's very outgoing. She will, she'll, she'll hold a whole conversation with you and won't even know your name. Okay. Tell me about your additional evidence. So we had a situation a couple months ago where he found out I was actually chilling with another guy, but we weren't yes. doing nothing. You, Miss Mitchell? Uh-huh. Yeah. But really? Uh huh. We weren't doing nothing but smoking, literally, and then we went to go and get my, my sister and, and her friend, she... and then we went back to my mom's house, and that was it. So is this you were on a date? No. This was just a friend. Just a friend. Does Mr. McIntosh know this friend? No, Your Honor. This this is a guy I used to work with, so we we was just cool. And he that means up. nothing here it's... in divorce court. So let me hear your witness statement. My name's Natara, Shamari's older sister, and I just wanted to tell my part on what happened that day. Shamari said she was gonna pick us up. And, you know, we got ready. Shamari said she was outside. We get outside and we got in the car and she was with one of her friends who happened to be a guy. But I know my sister and she would never even put herself in a position to cheat uh, she's gonna agree. She's gonna be on her side anyways. That's her sister. She's scared of her. Really? Honestly. Yeah. Like she's she's always talking about Shamar. You're so mean. Like so. So uh, you're saying that her sister is not offering unbiased and objective no, testimony in court today? Not at all. She said she's so mad at times. Like she's got escorted off a job before because, because of her temper. Yes. It scares me sometimes, and I got a temper as well. Really? Yeah. But you still out there texting? Yes, trying to set up. Well, yes, at that moment, but I haven't since then. Well, that was only two months ago, sir. Yeah, you're right. Out of a two-year relationship. It don't happen overnight, though, man. No, it doesn't. It listen, do listen, listen. Overnight. Nobody's perfect, but we should all be progressing. You're right. I don't even want a threesome no more. She's enough. Like, you look at her. She's thick, beautiful. Like, I'm fine. Like, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm, I don't need nobody else. As of two months ago. Second. Let's, let's, get, let's get serious about what's happening, because the two of you have purchased a home together, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have children together, am I correct? No, no. But you have property. Congratulations on buying your first home. That's a big deal. So the question is for both of you, what kind of home are you gonna make out of that house? I wanted what to kind be... of relationship are you gonna have? I wanted to be loyalty. I wanted to be... So Mr. McIntosh, I want 
your actions to match your and words. And they have been. Two months is not enough time for me to credit what you're saying today in terms of you now being on the straight and narrow path. So, in order for you to make this relationship work, because I'm assuming this is a relationship you want to be in despite what, what you've... If- what you've witnessed and what you've been through. Am I right? Right. Okay, so this is a choice you're deciding to make. This is who he has presented himself to be the last two years. What you see from the very beginning. His popularity and his inability to be disciplined in a committed monogamous relationship. Because that's what it is. So I turn to you because you say you want to be better. Yeah. Well, I say to you, Mr. McIntosh, your words don't matter, sir. Your actions do. My actions have been shown. so, So for two months... He said that he has grown. He is a better person. Do you believe that, Miss Mitchell? Not entirely, because I feel like I, there's still something in my gut still telling me that he's still she sneaking got, and, and she got trust issues. Geeking and I'm sure she does. She hasn't. She hasn't went through my phone, but she wants to, and I know it. And I'm. Well, just, I'm I have I'm, left it around because I don't have nothing to hide anymore. There's well, here, in my here's phone. here's where we are. Want to hurt my the trust again. has been broken, but there's a good reason why. But it, I when you it's go been through broken somebody's between phone, both of us. I have no evidence whatsoever that she has stepped out in this relationship. <laughs> Hanging with another guy while I'm at work, don't tell me, and I found out through his baby mama, and his baby mama tell me that she ain't supposed to be around him? You have a problem with that. Yes. But you, it's not a bigger problem what you're doing? It's, it's the same, honestly. Because okay. in my mind, the way I got over that, unlike she's doing with me, my mind, I'm like, okay, she cheated. You still love her. But you think Let she cheated. So you think she actually cheated. That's how cheated. I got over it. I just assume the worst. I, my phrase around her, she knows it. I hope for the best, but I plan for the worst. I don't think you stepped out of your relationship in terms of having a physical relationship with someone else. I don't think that happened. I think that it just makes him feel better to say that because of his past and what he's done. But I don't think you actually did it. So now you're here in divorce court and we've talked about the past. The problem is, of course you have trust issues. That's understandable. When you decide to go through someone's phone, when you decide to go through their email, when you decide to look, you have to be prepared with what decision you're gonna make when you find it. You were not prepared. Number two, so now that the trust is gone, you have to figure out, how do I be in a relationship with someone that I really don't trust? Mm -hmm. Trust is lost in buckets and gained in drops. Two months, right? One month, that's a drop. Two months, that's a drop. You gotta build your way back up to it. At some point, this is your life that you're creating together. The third question is, why? Why do I do it? Because that foundation has to be there in order for you to actually have a happy and healthy relationship. You talk a lot. You talk a good game. You're Mr. Popularity. I understand that. But at the end of the day, the two of you go home together to that house. So everything you're doing outside of that house is affecting what's happening in that house. So you have to make a decision about what you're going to tolerate and what you're going to stand for. Because it takes two. (laughs) And you have to earn the trust that's been broken. That's my advice to both of you. Good luck. Well, I feel like her verdict was right because Jonathan, he's actually a good person, but he make it hard for you to for you to trust him just because he, he's a liar. I just make it hard for you people to love me, that's all. Moving forward, I feel like we need to work on our communication, work on communicating with, with each other and work on our attitudes. What I thought when Jess said we need to communicate better, I, I felt like that was true because um, I could say, hey babe, I'm about to leave out to go handle one thing and I'll be gone for two to three hours doing a be bunch of other stuff. we gone for the whole stuff. day because other stuff came up and he didn't want to tell me. Now it's not the fact I don't want to tell you, it's more of a just, I just don't think of telling. It's just like, hey babe, I'll be back. I'm not doing nothing wrong, I'm handling business. 